All right, so as you can see here, we're going to have a little bit of fun with this gun review. Uh, every zombie survival plan has got to have step one, gather weapons. Step two, acquire transportation. Step three, locate friends and family. And step four, cure the infection one bullet at a time. And that's where this comes in. This would not really be your first gun that you go to if you're in the zombie apocalypse. You want something bigger, maybe a rifle, maybe a shotgun, <clears throat> Mr. Biden. Anyway, for whatever reason, you lose that gun, you lose that backup, you're still in enough distance that you can throw some lead down at the zombies. This might be what you want. Now this next gun is concealable, as you can see. And this is a hit. This is the Tomcat 32 by Beretta. You can see that real good. Look at that. Yes. Do a safety check. Obviously, there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. Another way of doing a safety check on this bad boy. We just flip the barrel up with that lever right there. And that actually takes us down into takedown. Pull the butt uh, or the barrel all the way up. Make sure it's not in safe. Triggers down. Pull back on it. And then it rocks out just like that. That takes the whole top of the slide off. And that's the extent of what you need to do. You can clean the barrel at that point. You can get into all the nooks and crannies at that point. No need to mess with the trigger. It's all there. It doesn't get any simpler than that. And you just reverse that process. Which takes just a smidge more brain power. If you see those grooves right there these have to fit into those grooves so that's all you're really looking for bring it down and forward lock this boy down you're in safety on that's it that's the whole gun now one thing I've noticed uh, safety release is down here let me show you I'm gonna download these bullets here real quick Empty slide, or empty magazine, that goes in there, safety check again, nothing. That particular gun holds 7 plus 1, the plus 1 going right there. You can hold that bad boy in there all the time. There is no drop safety, uh, magazine release safety, so when that's dropped out, check it again, you can pull the trigger which is nice. Very nice. A lot of people like that That uh, in a lot of the guns that are coming out now. Uh, you know, For whatever reason your magazine drops, you don't want to all of a sudden have a bullet in the chamber and nothing to do with it. Okay, set back on magazine. Now, I'll set that down and let you look at it for a second. And there are a few specs I was going to go over. Uh, the barrel is forged out of uh, special high strength steel. Um, Beretta says it's precisely rifled for accuracy. It doesn't it doesn't give a twist or anything on its website. Uh, for this small a barrel, a two inch barrel, I don't know that it matters much. You know, I might be wrong. The um, slide is machined out of a high strength carbon steel and specially heat treated. Uh, the sights on it are notched at the rear, a blade at the front. Um, notched at the rear, meaning they are adjustable. You can drift them for windage. I don't know if you can see that. It dovetailed in there. Look at my thumb. Look at my thumb. Gotta get this thing to focus. Come on, baby. Focus. There we go. I don't know if you can see that now. You can drift that sight. By the way, it is a very standard sight. Um... The post in front, you line that up with that in the back, the two in the back. I don't know, I hear that some of these, in other countries, you can get tritium sites for it, so I don't know for what that's worth. 
Okay, um... Talks about the frame being made of a special alloy. Noticeably stronger, lighter, more corrosion resistant than the stainless steel. Uh, Tip-up barrel latch, which is really nice. Uh, I, f I have fired this thing. This gun does not belong to me. Um, but I have fired it. The trigger, trigger pull is, is excellent. It's double action and single action, which I kind of like. Um, I'm real used to it. My Beretta 92 that I've got, I'm just, I've just gotten used to it. Uh, let's see. It does have what they call a snag proof design, which if you'll notice, it's got the rounded edges all the way around. There's nothing that it's going to snag on. Uh, all the way around, I don't feel anything that feels like it's going to snag. And also, that feels going to comfort. I've always liked compact guns that have some sort of a extension on the magazine down there to catch my pinky. But to be honest with you, with this, it's so small. All the weight is right above your hand there. It just is so, it's just so natural. It's not a problem shooting it. It's very nice. I'm very impressed with this gun. Uh, Breda doesn't make junk. Uh, I think the only thing I might do is replace these plasticky grip inserts. Just not that there's anything wrong with them. I just might go with something a little more, uh, maybe like, I don't know if Hogue sells one or not, but I might go in that direction. Uh, anyway, let's see, what am I forgetting? Uh, I think that's just about it. We are going to take this out shooting some more, and I'm going to get some videos and... When we do that, we'll tail that into the dovetail that into the end of this video. If you have any questions, uh, message me, and I'll get back to you on that. Really fun, really fun gun to shoot. And remember, if this, heaven forbid, in the zombie survival plan should not work, all of us should have our next backup weapon, which at the back of a tactical vest should be in the form of some sort of blade, some sort of tactical blade. Don't want those zombies getting too close. That's for up close and personal. Booyah. Beretta 32. Watch out.